Hey guys, it's me and I'm back with another voiceover video. So if you want to see how I got this kind of dewy yet dark and gothic look, then please keep watching. So to make this a dewy look, I'm going to go in with this Moroccan Argan Oil. And this is perfect for your hair and your skin, it's very nourishing. And basically this will go underneath any um, foundation or concealer or you can mix in with any face liquid products. And it's just going to provide like a natural glow and this is where the dewiness will mainly come from. So I'm just going to put this in the perimeter of my face. I don't want to put it in my T-zone because that's why I'm most oily. So I'm just going to go in as always with a primer and this is the pore filling one by Smashbox. So next I'm going to go in with this Garnier BB Cream. Now I've just got back from a holiday so I'm trying to show off my natural tan as much as possible. Hence me choosing something with a light coverage. So I'm just going to blend this in actually with my M439 brush by Morphe. Usually I would use a sponge but because it's not very much coverage anyway I want to keep as much product on my face as possible. Now going in with my LA Girl Cream Contour. I believe this is in Espresso. I'm just going to apply this with a brush to my cheekbones and jawline and then blend out with my sponge. I don't want it too intense so that's why I'm using the sponge as well, just to pick up any excess product. And then for concealer I'm going to take Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. This is in light neutral and this is just going to go underneath my eyes to brighten them up, underneath my contour to sharpen up a bit and in the centre of my forehead and chin, just any areas which you need highlighting and blending this out with my sponge it's going to pick up any excess product making my skin uh, basically not looking cakey and avoiding any makeup settling in fine lines which I do have a uh, quite a lot of underneath my eyes this is a dewy look so I am going to avoid putting powder all over my face however underneath my eyes and my laugh lines do need setting the last thing I want is my makeup settling in these areas and creasing because it just doesn't doesn't look good in my opinion. For brows I'm taking Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. Um, I didn't film this because I do have a video dedicated to this on my channel so you can check that out if you want to. But moving on I'm just taking Highbrow by Benefit to just provide a natural highlight for them as opposed to using concealer. Now taking High Beam by Benefit I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones and kind of blend it around my eyebrow. I want an intense kind of wet looking glow to go with this dewy look. So I'm really excited to be showing this off. This is the new Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette which I bought recently and oh my god I haven't used it yet but it's so pigmented when I swatched it. So here's a close-up I thought I'd show you guys properly. As you can see it's 14 matte shades all of them completely matte and my first impression when I got this was actually the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette like that's what I immediately thought of I think it's very similar color tones and the layout actually um but I got this directly from Smashbox and it retailed for £30 and it also came with a free £17.50 lipstick which is incredible such a good offer at the moment so let's dive straight in. This is kind of like first impressions. I haven't used this before on myself. Going in with wheat, I'm gonna just apply this all over the lid, kind of really focus it into my crease. Such a perfect transition color. I think it looks really pretty. And then taking tonal on this more defined um, Morphe crease brush, I'm gonna work this into my outer crease and then blend it out with a fluffier brush. I'm trying to kind of create a kind of a more smoky natural look I don't want it too intense but I'm really loving the colours that are going on at the moment and then I'm taking the Smashbox brush that's provided and a darker shade this shadow is called suede and I'm going to work this along my upper lash line and my lower lash line just to create a bit of smokiness next taking this half-baked highlighter by Revolution I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone as you can see the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose and my inner corners of my eyes just I think applying highlights to the inner corner of your eyes really does open them up and the look I've got going on at the moment isn't exactly very dramatic off camera I just curled my eyelashes and applied this incredible benefit roller lash my favorite mascara on the market by far so in terms of prepping my lips for lipstick I'm just going to use this lip scrub by Lush to remove any dead skin followed by a hydrating oil. Now this is the same one I used earlier, the Mor Moroccan Argan Oil. 
and this is really gonna plump my lips up and just make them extra soft, ready for lipstick. So my lipstick choice today is this beautiful deep purple from Smashbox. It's the free one I got with the palette, which is stunning. I've never used a Smashbox lipstick before and I was really impressed with how it went on. It did apply slightly differently because I prepped my lips with oil. This is a matte lipstick, but the finish after I put it on myself was a bit more glossy. And just to set all of this, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal setting spray, which I absolutely love. It's tried and tested, I really recommend it. So that's everything, that's the finished look. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out, actually. I don't usually go for dewy looks, but I think with summer and everything, it's nice to have that more natural glow. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, then please keep watching. I will try and upload every week. And I do really enjoy filming and uploading. So thank you again for watching and more will be coming very, very soon.